Okay, this is a uh, PWM charge controller. It's been working perfectly for the last six or seven years. Um, I have a voltmeter here. I don't have anything that reads the amperage. And I'm going to replace this with this. So the connections are basically the same. You have the uh, solar panel input here, positive, negative. You have the uh, battery connection in the middle. And then this is the low connection. So the idea is to connect the battery to the charge controller first. And then you can connect the solar panel and then your low um, connections. So this is exactly the same setup here. So let me do it and then I'm going to show you um, if there's anything new or not. So when you're converting, uh, don't short out the battery wires. If you short them out, you're going to blow your fuse if you have a fuse or you're going to start a fire with the battery because it'll be shorted out. Uh, the solar panel wires, if you short them out, is not a big deal because uh, it can stand withstand a short circuit and the low connection, of course, uh, uh, there's no power to it if uh, you disconnect the battery. So main thing is these two wires don't short them out. So I got one more wire deposited from the solar panel to uh, plug in here. When you unscrew these screws here, uh, you have to make sure that you don't unscrew them all the way or the screw will will come loose. But you also have to uh, have the um, hole down big enough, open the open enough so you can stick the wire in. This is a 12 gauge wire, so the uh, the hole or the opening is not much bigger than this. So you just have to make sure you have a secure connection and nothing is loose. Uh, you ch we check the connections after the they are uh, in place. So I'm going to put in the last solar panel wire there. Okay, I got the solar panel wire uh, connected. You just pull on all the wires and if they can be easily pulled out, well, you haven't connected them uh, securely. So I'm going to try to set the low so that my lights that runs off the battery will uh, will go on. Now there's a uh, 500 MA going into the battery. Okay, this is two hours. The low will go on for two hours. So I'm going to set it to maybe four hours. Okay. Okay, this I don't change. All right, so it's, now it's all set. So I'm just cycling through the different uh, settings. This is the reconnect uh, voltage. This is the low voltage uh, disconnect. This I shown in my previous video. Uh, let's see here, this is the temperature um, set for lead acid. Uh, it will be zero, 0, you can adjust it with the up and down if you're charging lithium batteries. I think the minimum voltage for charging lit uh, lithium battery is 8 volts. Okay, temperature, amps, nothing going in, nothing going in to the load because the battery is full. So let's go outside and take a look at the um, solar panel. So this is what it is charging, a single 125 amp hour deep cycle battery. And I just installed this mono 
crystalline 100 watt solar panel. It's about 120 watts and this is more like a winter position. So it's more vertical. The sun would come across the sky that way. I can't even see my finger. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is my own um, do-it-yourself solar panel. It's still working great. This is 60 watts or so. Uh, plexiglass. Uh, I use some um, the metal studs, drywall metal studs, to uh, f to frame it. Uh, the wood backing and then uh, put some uh, what do you call roofing tar paper in the back to keep it you know it's pretty weather weather tight and it's been working great for the past six years or so so this is uh, 100 watts about 5.5 uh, amp short circuit current which is plenty to charge a single uh, deep cycle battery. I'm planning to add another battery. I'm gonna take the battery out from my car and uh, parallel it with this because uh, I want to replace my six euro car battery. Although it's still good. This is, this is about six years or so also, oh yeah, March 10th, so six years, and uh, it's still good. So I can parallel the car battery with that, and I would have more power for my inverter. So if it is daytime, I turn this on, and I can run my, my lights, uh, no problem. It will be just running off the solar panel. The power is coming out from the solar panel. Okay, let me cycle through the readings. This is the battery voltage. This is the ambient temperature. Nice day. This is amps going into the battery. Zero amps because the battery is full. Low. Amps going into the low zero because they're not on. Uh, amp power from the solar panel to the battery. Show nothing because nothing is drawn or put in. And this is the voltage of the solar panel. Okay, the last feature is the USB output. And I just plugged in my flashlight here. I'm going to do it DIY flashlight and it's charging all right all on solar power